Hi there, I'm Shane Top, and this is the Gosh Darn F***ing News. Today is Charity Bag. I am challenging the form that is nude photography. What did David Dobrik do now? This eye is worth like $10,000. Will these images curse you? Is the new Trolls movie inappropriate for children? Oh, so much violence. And finally, some uplifting news. I say no thank you. Live from three days ago, it's Shane Top. James Charles has a beauty competition show called Instant Influencer that just began airing on YouTube. I haven't watched it yet, but I can only assume that the first two minutes are about makeup and the final 43 minutes are about starting drama and selling overpriced products to kids. Here to comment is a guy who didn't lock the bathroom door. <laughs> Sunny with a Chance had an online reunion with the original cast and four other random white people. So random people. They were there, okay? You can pretend that we weren't. But we were there, and we meant something. It's a party get down, man. It was a good show! It's a good- David Dobrik made an incredible charity video where he drove around handing out PS4s, laptops, iPads, and so much more to fans in need. And, best of all, he used a t-shirt cannon to fire t-shirts filled with money at them. It was really great, and here to talk about it is one of the fans who David Dobrik helped. Yo, thanks for having me. Um, I was just like looking at flowers, minding my business, I love nature, when out of nowhere David Dobrik came up and shot me with a t-shirt cannon. Oh my god, it looks like he got you right in the eye. Oh yeah, he knocked this shit right out of the socket. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry man, that sounds awful. No, I actually got $10,000 out of it too. He had a check in the t-shirt. <laughs> this eye is worth like $10,000. <laughs> I guess you still have another eye, so it's that, that's fine. Well, I'm glad he didn't hit me in this one, because it's my glass eye, and this one's expensive. How'd you lose that eye? Oh, the t-shirt cannon at a Mets game. Mm -hmm. So you are legally blind. Legally blind. So you're not mad at David at all? David, I just want to say, man, if, you, if you're if seeing this right now, I love you. I don't know what I'm looking at right now. I can't really see. But I just want to say I love you, and you are great. You've been a big inspiration to me and everybody else in America. And thanks for the $10,000. If you want to give me some more money and knock me out here and there, do some things to me, it's fine. Thank you so much. Thank you, David. I love you, man. Peace and blessings. Mr. Beast held a rock, paper, scissors contest for charity and invited all of the best, most popular, sexiest, trendiest YouTubers. Which is why we weren't there, because there's really not a positive adjective you can put in front of us. Old, tired, uh, neither of those are good. I'm trying to think of a positive one. Um, gross, inappropriate. We did also make a video kind of making fun of, uh, yeah, I get it. I get why he wouldn't invite us. I get it, it's our bad. Travis Scott held a massive concert in Fortnite. So if you're wondering why your eight-year-old son suddenly wants to fuck Kylie Jenner, that's why. Ansel Elgort posted a nude on his Instagram for charity. Here to talk about it is our local nude expert, influencer and YouTuber, Brianna Boho. Thank you, Shane Powertop. So actually, this was a very deceitful act to use a nude photograph for. It uh, completely cheapens nudes and the entire art platform as well as the very sensitive nude market. I mean also nudes are for letting people know you want to fuck them not devaluing these titties. Even though he was doing it for charity it was a bad thing. Look at me. I mean OnlyFans can only provide so much. You're saying nudes are just to let someone know you want to fuck them but you have an OnlyFans. Mm -hmm, but that's different. See, my OnlyFans subscribers are supporting me because they believe in me, and then I reward them with nude photos as well as videos of me eating popsicles of my ass. Of your ass? Of my ass with my ass. See, there's a popsicle that's made from a mold of my ass that I then eat with my ass. Because, like, when you have a mold of your ass, you want to get, like, the most use out of it that you can, you know? Sure. Yeah. Um, thank you. You're welcome, Sheen Power Top. Also, ass popsicles are a wonderful summer treat, and they're on sale right now on my OnlyFans. I think you're a subscriber, aren't you? No, Shane? I'm not. I'm... Your username is Short King Long Stinger. No, that is not me. Are you at sure? All. Now we go over to our travel correspondent, Olivia Sway, with our city of the day. What's the city? It's, it's the city. city of the day. Where's the city? Who's the city? City of the day. Are you a city? I'm not a city. City of the day. City of the day. Lacombe, Illinois. City. If you'd like to submit your city to be our city of the day, don't. We're not going to read our emails. We're not going to listen to anyone. We will pick whatever city we want. It might be the same city next week. We don't care. It may not even be a city. It might be a mineral, 
or a, a type of animal. We don't care. We really don't care. Now it's time to go over to our entertainment correspondent, Damien, with What's Streaming? Damien? Hi, Shane. Yes, let's talk about What's Streaming. Can't wait. Yeah, yeah, you watched, uh, Trolls World Tour this Trolls past week, right? Trolls World Tour week, is right? what I watched. You, I sure did. At least you were supposed to watch it. You did watch it, right? Shane, I watched the movie. Can you tell us about it? Can you tell yes. us about the movie? Uh, Trolls World Tour 2020 musical animation. We got Poppy and Branch discover that there are six different troll tribes. What? Did you just did you just Google it? Or? No, no, I didn't do that. I know. I'm. This is all from the the old noggin. That's it. That's they discover their six different troll tribes. That's it. That's the whole movie. Well, it's not the whole movie. It starts in the Shire. That's not the plot of Lord of the Rings. It's, Shane, it's very much not. If you didn't watch the movie, it's fine. I, watched I mean, just just the movie. Okay. Sure. All right, fine. If you watch the movie, then great. So uh, clearly, the six different troll tribes represent six different genres of music. Can you tell us about those genres? Oh, those genres of music. That's the metaphor, Shane. It's the six different aspects of the human ego. You've got wrath. Sloth, gluttony, classical music, techno music, and then rock. But you're not even thinking about how deep this movie goes, man. You're supposed to be rooting for these characters, but there's so much violence. There's so much there's cussing. Violence? Oh, so much violence. Oh my god. Yeah. Because this rough. movie's rated PG, right? Don't know how they got so, away with that. So parents should not take their children to go see this. No, no. It's like they curse so much. You know how Smurfs say Smurf all the time? It's like that, yeah. but with. And so they're always just saying, fuck. So there's this like, there's this bit where like a goblin is surrendering and they're like, we're sorry, we should find a middle ground. And then they just grab him by the back of the head and go, blah, 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 and just drown him in a puddle. And as he's like kicking and just twitching, they just keep whispering, fuck, fuck, into the back of his head. It's real dark. Damien, you definitely didn't watch this movie, did you? I d didn't watch the film, Shane. All right, that has been Damien with What's Dreaming. And now it's time for my least favorite segment, Chris Images, with Courtney. Courtney. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Courtney. I am pretty sure I've seen every cursed image. Uh, love cursed images. Shane, are you ready? Uh, no, but go ahead. There you go, bud. Oh, so, okay, there's a lot going on. Yeah, I like this one because there's a story. Yeah, so it's clearly one of their birthdays. I'm guessing it's Is red. It? I'm guessing it's red Tillitubby's birthday. See, to me, I, for some reason, get wedding vibes. Oh, because they're, yeah, they're, they're definitely kissing. So, um, like, what is the emotion that is this cursed image is bringing out of you? Because for I me... I just feel gross. I feel really what? gross. Tag yourself. I'm definitely the angel in the back, just loving everything. Or I'm the cake. I'm the guy on the purple Teletubby shoulder. Just <laughs> clearly just not just to be there. peeking through. Monica earlier was trying to read the cake, which... Is oh, darn near impossible. Yeah, I don't want to read what's written on that. I'm sure it's some sort of curse that if you read it, a ghost will follow you home and kill you in your sleep. I think the thing that shines most brightly in this photo is the open mouth kiss that's about to ensue. Uh, I think it's ensuing. I think it's full on ensuing. I think it's like, but this is just like a beautiful moment where they're about to suck a face. Like it hasn't happened yet. Well, I clearly, wish. clearly the yellow Tillotubby already did that because someone licked off most of his makeup. But you know, that's the beauty of a cursed image, bud. It's just yeah. chaos. Blessed chaos, just like what? Anyway, thank you so much for this time. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed my cursed images of the week. Uh, I will have gold for you every week, I promise. Thank you for giving me this segment, Shane. I won't let you down. Well, thanks, Courtney. And finally, we go over to our own Ian Hecox, who's going to give us some good news and some bad news in a segment we call Good news, bad news. Thanks, James. In Arkansas, there is a steakhouse. Uh, it's a family-owned uh, restaurant, steakhouse, and somebody donated their entire $1,200 stimulus check as a tip to the workers there. Oh, that sounds like great news. No, this is a steakhouse. A steakhouse. It is a house made of steaks. Okay, how disgusting is that? And this person wants to keep a business like that open? I say, no thank you, okay? I think you're maybe misunderstanding steakhouses. I don't think they're- Misunder How actually... am I misunderstanding steakhouse? There's no houses that are built out of steaks. I don't even know if they grill the steaks before they make the house out of it. I think now we're ready for uh, some good news. All right, so in Germany, there's a place in Northern Germany, it's a zoo. 
And what has happened is that uh, they're running out of money because nobody can go to the zoo now for, for reasons that are obvious. And they're saying that, that they might have to resort to feeding the animals in the zoo to the other animals in order to keep them alive. What? Dude, that's... That's awful. Here's a money-making proposition for that zoo. Animals shouldn't be in cages, right? R Unless right. you put animals in a cage with another animal. You follow me here? What about pygmy marmoset v king cobra? Who would win? But you don't know. So rather than just straight up being like, here you go, polar bear, here is a kangaroo. Let them fight it out. And then the winner gets to eat the loser. How would a kangaroo beat a polar bear? Kangaroo. Versus monkey, fish, versus dolphin, human, versus ant. I want to see every matchup. I will pay for that, and that'll keep the zoo running for years until they run out of animals. Okay, so to recap, you're saying mm. bad news that a someone was tipped a lot of money because they work in a house made of steak, and it's good news that zoos are turning into animal gladiator arenas. Yeah, what are you not? What are you not getting here? Well. That was the gosh darn fucking news. I'm Shane Top. Go to bed. Go to bed. This has been the gosh darn fucking news. David Dobrik fans, please be nice to us in the comments section. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch more stupid, dumb stuff, we've got more videos. We also have clothing that we sell at Smosh.store. And if you wear it, I promise people will like you more. They'll just send something different about you. And if you haven't subscribed, please do, because we just keep the dumb stuff pumping out. We never stop. We're just like, it's just crazy. We're geniuses. We're idiot geniuses.